Let's have a look at some problems in which you can apply the concepts of self-induced EMF, self-inductance, mutually induced EMF as well as mutual inductance. Keep your pen and paper ready so that you can solve along with me. Problem 2.11 Two identical 1000 turn coils X and Y lie in parallel planes such that 60% of the flux produced by one coil links the other. A current of 5 amperes in X produces in it a flux of 5 into 10 to the power of minus 5 Webers. If the current in X changes from plus 6 amperes to minus 6 amperes in 0.01 seconds, what will be the magnitude of the EMF induced in Y? Calculate the self-inductance of each coil and their mutual inductance. This problem was asked in the BU paper of May 1986. Note down the given values and we'll proceed to the solution. Flux produced per ampere of current in coil X is phi1 by I1. You know that flux is represented by phi. Since we are calculating here the flux produced per ampere, we divide it by I. So phi1 divided by I1 is equal to 5 into 10 to the power of minus 5 divided by 5, which gives you 10 to the power of minus 5 Weber per ampere. Number of turns on coil X n1 is given as 1000 and number of turns on coil y n2 is also equal to n1 which is 1000. Self-inductance of coil x or y because they both have the same number of turns and the same flux linking l is equal to n1 into phi1 by i1 which is equal to 1000 into 10 to the power of minus 5 which gives you 0 0.01 henry. This is the self-inductance of the coils. That is one part of the answer. Now, flux linking in coil Y per ampere of current in coil X is given by phi 2 by I1. That is 0 0.6 into 5 into 10 power minus 5 whole divided by 5. Why is it 0.6 of that? Because it's given that 60% of the flux produced by one coil links the other. So we take it as 0.6. And that gives you 0.6 into 10 to the power of minus 5 Weber per ampere. Mutual inductance between the coils, M is given by N2 into phi 2 by I1, which is equal to 1000 into 0.6 into 10 to the power of minus 5, which is equal to 0.006 Henry. This is the mutual inductance between the coils. Another part of the answer is done. Now, you need to calculate the EMF still. Rate of change of current in coil X, di1 by dt is equal to 6 minus of minus 6 since it is changing from positive to negative, which is divided by 0 0.01, that is the time taken, and that gives you 1200 ampere per second. Therefore, EMF induced in coil Y, E2, you can take it as E2 because Y is the second coil, is equal to M into DI1 by DT. M you have calculated as 0 0.006. Multiply that by 1200, you get it as 7.2 volts. This completes this problem. Problem 2.12. Two identical coils of 1200 turns each are placed side by side such that 60% of the flux produced by one coil links the other. A current of 10 amperes in the first coil sets up a flux of 0.12 milliweber. If the current in the first coil changes from plus 10 amperes to minus 10 amperes in 20 milliseconds, find A, the self-inductances of the coils and B, the EMFs induced in both the coils. Note down the given values. You have turns, you have 60% of the flux produced by one coil links the other, you have the current, you have the flux which is set up. You have the change in the current 10 amperes to minus 10 amperes and the time taken to do that. Now, let's solve this. First part, 
is the self inductances since the number of turns is the same l1 is equal to l2 is equal to n1 into phi1 divided by i1 which is 1200 multiplied by 0.12 into 10 to the power of minus 3 since it's milli weber whole divided by 10 which gives you 0.0144 henry this is part a it's over now you have to calculate the emfs induced in both the coils first let's do e1 e1 is equal to minus l1 into di1 by dt which is given by minus of 0.0144 into 10 minus of minus 10 since it's changing from plus 10 to minus 10 amperes divided by 20 into 10 power minus 3 this is because it's in 20 milliseconds so you get e1 as minus 14.4 volts m is equal to k1 phi1 into n2 divided by i1 here k1 is 0 0.6 what is this k1 k1 is that percentage it's given as 60% of the flux produced by one coil links the other. So that is given as K1. Therefore, M is equal to 0 0.6 into 0 0.12 into 10 to the power of minus 3 multiplied by 1200 divided by 10, which gives you 0 0.00864 Henry. This is M. Now, Em is equal to minus M into Di1 by Dt, that is the mutually induced EMF, which is minus 0 0.00864 multiplied by change in current, again, 10 minus of minus 10, divided by time taken is 20 into 10 power minus 3 seconds. You get Em as minus 8.64 volts. This completes your answer. Since the flux is linking from one coil to another, you have to calculate mutually induced EMF when considering the second coil. Yet another problem. Problem 2.13. A cylinder 50 millimeter in diameter and 1 meter long is uniformly wound with 3000 turns in a single layer. A second layer of 100 turns of much finer wire is wound over the first one near the center. Calculate the mutual inductance between the coils. How do you solve this? Given L, that is the length, is 1 meter, N1 is 3000, and N2 is 100. Diameter is given in millimeter, so we have to convert that into a standard form. 50 millimeter, that is 50 into 10 power minus 3 meter. Therefore, cross-sectional area A is you know that when it's given as radius, you take pi r square. Since it's given in diameter, you have to take d by 2 whole square into pi. So that is pi by 4 d square, rearranging it properly for our convenience. So substituting the value of the diameter, you get pi by 4 into 50 into 10 power minus 3 whole square meter square, since it's area which gives you 25 by 4 into pi multiplied by 10 power minus 4 m square. Let us take the cylinder material to be non-magnetic. So it is assumed that mu r, that is the relative permeability as 1. Now, m is equal to, mutual inductance is equal to mu naught into mu r into a n1 n2 whole divided by l. Mu naught, you know, it's a standard value. Substitute that 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 25 by 4. You have already taken 4 in the denominator. So you get 25 pi into 10 power minus 4 multiplied by 3000 into 100 divided by 4 into 1. That 4 is part of the cross-sectional area's value. When you solve this, you get M as 740.22 micro Henry. This is the mutual inductance for this particular cylinder between the two coils. Problem 2.14. If the mutual inductance between two coils is 0 0.2 Henry, calculate the EMF induced in one coil when the current in the other coil is increased at a uniform rate from 0 0.5 to 3 amperes in 0 0.05 seconds. Note down all the given values first. There are two coils. 
the mutual inductance is given m is 0 0.2 henry you have to calculate the emf the current is increased from 0.5 to 3 and the time taken for that increasing that rate is 0 0.05 seconds solution given m is equal to 0 0.2 henry rate of change of current di by dt in the first coil is equal to 3 minus 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.05 since it's changing from 0.5 amperes to 3 amperes in 0 0.05 seconds so you get that rate as 50 amperes per second therefore emf induced in the second coil em is given by m into di by dt mutual inductance is already given so it is 0 0.2 multiplied by 50 which gives you 10 volts this is the emf let's look at another problem problem 2.15 two coils having 30 and 600 turns respectively are wound side by side on an iron circuit of section 100 centimeter square and mean length 130 centimeter estimate the mutual inductance between the coils if the permeability of iron is 2000 this is part a of the problem part b is a current in the first coil grows steadily from 0 to 10 amperes in 0 0.01 seconds find the emf induced in the other coil note down the given values and let's proceed to solving this problem part a given n1 is 30 n2 is 600 L is 150 centimeter which is equal to 1.5 meter always always remember to convert it into a standard form before applying any type of formula cross sectional area A is equal to 100 centimeter square which is equal to 100 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square which gives you 10 to the power of minus 2 meter square mu R is given as 2000 we have m is equal to mu naught mu r a n1 n2 whole divided by l mu naught is a standard value we plug it in you get 4 pi into 10 to the power of minus 7 multiplied by 2000 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 2 multiplied by 30 multiplied by 600 whole thing is divided by 1.5 when you calculate and simplify this you get m is equal to 0 0.302 henry this is the first part of the problem you have estimated the mutual inductance between the coils now given rate of change of current in coil 1 di1 by dt is equal to 10 minus 0 since it is growing steadily from 0 to 10 amperes you take it as 10 minus 0 divided by 0 0.01 seconds which is given you get the rate of change of current as 1000 ampere per second therefore emf induced in coil 2 that is the mutually induced emf is em is equal to m into di2 by dt the current is the same so 0 0.302 into 1000 which gives you 302 volts that is the emf We'll look at some more problems in the next session.